Hello, my name is Alexis Crook. I'm a customer success manager here at ProSymmetry. Today, I'm going to be walking through project Kanban boards. So first off, what is a Kanban board? It is a tool that allows you to group, visualize, and make decisions about your projects. Um, so in Tempest, you can create and customize Kanban boards based on your project attributes. You can share Kanban boards with other users, and you can also define minimum and maximum number of projects in a column to get a visual indicator. And I will show that in just a second. All right, here I have my Tempest homepage pulled up. I'm going to navigate to project management and then over to Kanban upper uh, on the upper right hand side of your screen. So you have the ability to create multiple storyboards within this Kanban view here. Um, right now I have none created, so I'm going to select create a new board. Now here are the settings that you are going to identify about your specific board. So first I'm going to give this board a name. Um, let's go ahead and do phases of projects. Start with that. Um, so first off, we have the option to select the column attribute that we want to pull in. So in this, this case, let's do maybe project priority. Now you can select the different um, priorities that you already have identified within your system. Um, you have the option to select a maximum of seven columns. From here, you can adjust if you want these to be in a different order. You can give them specific colors and you can also identify this work in progress limit. So what this is going to do is allow you to identify a minimum and maximum number of projects assigned in each column. So if there is um, a number that is below the minimum or a number that is above the maximum, there will be a visual indicator on the board. So let's go ahead and do, um, let's do maybe a max of, I don't know, 15. Start with that. Next option you have here are your swim lane attributes. Um, your swim lanes are going to separate your columns into rows. So let's go ahead and do maybe current phase within here. Now you have a few more options that have dropped down. You can choose to sort ascending or descending. You can choose to enable swim lane drag and drop. So do you want your projects to be able to move around between your different swim lanes within your Kanban board? Um, the show empty swim lane rows. So if a swim lane has no projects associated to it, do you want that swim lane to show up within your Kanban board? And then lastly, swim lane item count. So this is gonna show the number of projects assigned to each swim lane um an account at the top of your kanban board so you have the option to toggle those on and off you can play around with toggling them on seeing how the board looks and then you know toggle them off if if you're not interested in that next option we have here is our card layouts so within the individual cards you can choose the attributes that you want to appear so let's go ahead and select a few different attributes maybe let's do start date of the project let's do end date of the project and we can do maybe project description if you have one so within here you can choose up to three attributes um, and again you can come back and change these attributes if you choose to next we've got our card color based on so if you want to base your colors on something like um oops maybe something like region or you could do something like senior leader, something like that. Um, and then you can identify these colors if you want to change them. Last option here, we have our permissions. So you can identify who you want to view and who you want to edit this Kanban board. So out of the box, it looks like we've got all resources selected. You can choose either a global role. So if you maybe only want your admins to be able to view, you can do that. You can also select individual resources. So if you only want to share this with maybe one or two other resources, you can select them here. Um, so this is view access and then these, the same thing goes for the edit access. So who do you want to be able to come in here and make adjustments to the settings of this Kanban board? I'm going to go ahead and save that and I'm going to go back to my Kanban board. So 
here you can see this is what we have set up. We've got this grouped by, um, what was this, high, medium, and low. We've got our project priority. So our low project priority, medium, and high. Then we've got our phases of the project. Right now these are expanded. I can group these up. So maybe if I just want to see, you know, which projects are in phase one, I can expand that. Um, I've got my work in progress limits. You can see here my max of 15 is identified here. And you can see that in my low project priority, this is highlighted in red, meaning I have more than 15 projects um, within this project priority column here. Um, a few other things. Um, this is how you will go back to the board to edit it. You also have the ability to set one of these Kanban boards as your default view. So in this case, this is my only board. Um, so this one will appear first, but if you are toggling between multiple, you can set which one you want to see first. You can delete a um, Kanban board view within here. And over here is how you will create a new board and how you will see all of those other boards uh, that you have created. As always, if you have any questions, please let us know. Um, thank you so much.